Welcome to another episode of United for a Healthy Stoughton. My name is Stephanie Patton. I'm the prevention coordinator here for the town of Stoughton. And in the studio today with me, I have Molly Reed, who is the program facilitator for the Stoughton Recreation Department. So welcome, Molly. Thank Thanks for you. coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So today we are going to talk about spring and summer programming with the rec department. There is so much amazing stuff that is coming um, this spring and summer. And so we thought we should talk about it. So we're going to do that. Um, but before we do that, Molly is, I guess, not so new to the department anymore, but this is her first time on the show, a little bit. Um, so Molly, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you ended up in Stoughton at the rec department? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I'm originally from the Framingham area. Um, I was a Parks and Rec kid my whole life. I'd gone to Parks and Rec camps in Framingham, and then I um, went to the Parks and Rec camp in Weston and then ended up actually working there. I was a counselor and kind of moved my way through um, and then was uh, the director of their summer programs. Mm -hmm. um, I went to school for education and realized like I think I can like this is what I love to do and this is what I you know that I think I'm good at and mm -hmm. I was like I can do this for a full-time job. Yep. So um, Stoughton has obviously I came into Stoughton at a really cool time for recreation because there's a lot of new things happening. Mm -hmm. We just got a new building so it's um, I'm very excited to be here and awesome. it's been great. Yeah. Yay. Awesome. And so you've been with us since since Stoughton Day, which was back in yes, the fall. Yes, so the very, I think it's September 26th Okay. Was my first day. Yeah. Awesome. Excellent. So we have, you haven't seen a whole cycle yet, but we're getting close. I know, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> so let's talk about, you alluded to the new building. So the rec department has moved locations since the last time we did a show about the rec department. So let's talk a little bit about your, where you guys are now and the new space and what the vision is for that space. Yeah, absolutely. So we have moved from the basement of Town Hall. We'd been in the basement of Town Hall for 30 years, um, and we are now at 15 Pleasant Street in Stoughton. It's the old um, Randolph Savings Bank, but mm -hmm. it's a really, really great spot for us. Um, we'll have three program rooms, one big space to run all sorts of, um, you can do meetings in there, mm -hmm. classes, all sorts of great things, um, and it's really opening a new kind of uh, realm of possibilities mm -hmm. for recreation. Awesome. Um, and you guys have the kiln over there too, yes. right? So ceramics has moved into this new space. Yes, we have the kiln set up in there. Yep. Um, we have the vault from right? the old <laughs> bank actually is we have uh, lined shelves in there and we have all our ceramics equipment in there. So it's a really neat um, way to kind of display what we do. Mm -hmm. And also it's a really great space for the kids' um, ceramics. You know, it can be something that's kind of more expensive or harder to find because there's so many materials right. required mm -hmm. um, but we're able to do it and we're able to do it pretty inexpensively with you know Larice is a professional she's been doing it for years and years and years yep um, so we're excited that's awesome yeah. and and this the location is really nice too in terms of sort of foot traffic and because it's sort of right there in the square right um, you know people can from the new building they could walk to the library they could walk to local restaurants Absolutely. and you know so if kids are in your building doing programming and you know their parent or guardian is like oh i'm gonna go out and get a pizza and have a little moment to myself or get a cup of coffee at house of yeah. brews or you know or one of our other local businesses absolutely they can do that and it'll hopefully like it's part of you know this goal to revitalize you know the center of town a little mm -hmm. bit and you know we get people walking past our building all the time there's kids walking home from school mm -hmm. um it's so close to like you said the library right. and a bunch of the other schools it's a really great centralized location so that you know you can come to the rec center for a ceramics class and then when you get picked up, go to Olivio's and get a pizza right. afterwards. Yep. Um, it's really, it's a it's a good setup for it's gonna be a great center. Yeah. 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 So that building is you guys are in there now and you're we're doing in there offices. Now. It's just kind of office space for now. We're waiting to get some um, some building construction done. Mm -hmm. uh, but once it's up and ready come the late spring summertime, mm -hmm. um, We'll be programming out of there. It'll be awesome. really great. Excellent. Great. And so for now, you guys are continuing to do all your programming. They're just, they're continuing to happen in other town right. locations. Right. So we're really lucky that we have other town organizations that are willing to work with us. So mm -hmm. we have, um, you know, the COA and Youth Commission. We mm -hmm. share space with them all the time. They're really great um, for doing our, like, cooking programs, all sorts of things like that. Um, and then we use the library space as well. So mm -hmm. the library has been really great at helping us kind of, you know, continue to do and grow and expand all these programs and do more and more while our space is still a little bit limited. But right. It's exciting. Right. It's yeah, cool it's time. really exciting because I think, I mean, one of the things that's great is the library does a ton of programming. You guys 
guys do a ton of programming. There's all sorts of meetings and other things happening in town. So we definitely, you know, as a community, are going to be able to benefit from having more programming space Absolutely. in general. Absolutely. Because um, I know it's always a struggle sometimes to think about, like, I need to have this meeting or I'd like to do this program and then kind of figure out, you know, right. Where can I do that? Exactly. There's so much other great stuff happening. Where is this going to happen? Exactly. And so we'll have that big open space in the um, in the old Randolph Savings Bank. That'll mm -hmm. be great for if people need like nighttime um, meeting rooms yep. and things like that. Um, we'll we'll get it going. Awesome. Excellent. So let's talk about new exciting options for spring yeah. and summer, and then we'll talk about some of the also exciting but returning programs that you guys have going on. So. Um, tell me about some of the things that you're excited about that you guys are doing this year for the first time. Yeah, so one thing we're doing is we're kind of expanding doing more workshops. So mm -hmm. it can be tough for people to maybe commit to a six week long mm -hmm. class. You know, schedules or people work, schedules change, you have multiple kids, you know, there's all kinds of things going on. So we're trying to do more of these like one off workshops mm -hmm. where you can come in, um, get a taste of something, see if you like it, and then maybe, you know, it's something that if you do want to commit to in the future, you can. So mm -hmm. we're doing like, um, a spring bunny ceramic painting workshop. So, mm -hmm. you know, we'll provide all the materials, we'll show you exactly what to do, you don't need any experience, um, but you'll be able to, you know, learn kind of the very basics about painting, about ceramics, how the kiln works, things mm -hmm. like that. Um, we're hosting a uh, St. Patrick's Day slime workshop. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure slime is like all the rage yep. with kids. Yep. So it'll be really neat um, to be able to do that, To get our hands dirty a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, make some slime. Green glitter slime. Green right? glitter read. slime, <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. It'll be it'll be very, uh, it'll be messy, but it'll yeah. be fun. Yeah. Um, we're offering a new teen program this summer, which I'm really excited about. So my background, um, when I was working at the Western Rec Department, I was running there, uh, we had about 80 kids in a in our teen program. So mm -hmm. that was just fifth through ninth graders, but it was a field trip program. Yep. Um, and we're able to find a lot of good success with that. And, you know, teens a lot of times are n not forgotten about, mm -hmm. but there's less offered for them. Yep. Um, so we were like, what, you know, we want to do more for this, for this age bracket. What can we do? So we're piloting um, kind of as a test run this year, um, a two-week program for teens for mm -hmm. kids going into seventh to ninth grade um, where they go on a field trip every day of the week. Oh, wow. um, so Monday through Thursday, there we're going places, we're going um, doing Canopy Lake Park, hmm. um, paintballing, Godzilla, um, a beach oh. trip. <laughs> I know, it's gonna, it's, yeah. it's, really, yeah. it's, it's really awesome. And it's things that are structured just for them. So, um, you know, it sometimes, you know, you, you just want, teens want to do their own thing. Yep. Um, so, and then on Fridays, what we'll do is they'll get a chance to practice being um, a counselor at the playground. So okay. each morning we'll do a different type of um, leadership activity, mm -hmm. um, learning different kind of sets of responsibilities and skills that it takes to be a leader, to be uh, a role model for kids. And yep. then on Fridays, they'll be able to use those skills that we did in different kind of like fun games and be able to actually lead um, kids at the pre-playground and the open play oh. uh, program. Oh, so, that's awesome. Yeah, so it's a good mix of like yep. learning some leadership skills, but it'll still also getting to have fun because kids mm -hmm. that age, they still can, you know, go to a summer program and right. have a good time. Mm -hmm. And they're too young to work. So right, they're sort so of, they're in that, that little in-between kind yep. of space. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. that sounds great. So that's yeah. another new offering. And yeah. then um, you guys are doing a new program out at the Fish and Game, right? Yes. Yeah, talk about that. Yes. Yeah, so we're working with uh, the Fish and Game Club to do a kind of family, uh, I think it's called Outdoor Adventures. Um, mm -hmm. So basically what we're doing is it's uh, open to um, any ages. Um, we're hoping to get families in there doing these things together. We'll be doing, um, we'll be offering fishing, archery. Mm -hmm. um, we'll do a campfire with s'mores. Um, it'll be a really great time. Um, and it's a great way. So we're working with the Fishing Game Club, Mass Audubon, mm -hmm. um, On The Mark Archery. Um, so it's a nice way to uh, collaborate yep. on a really neat way to get folks outdoors in the summertime yep. especially. And so, and that was a facility that I had no idea that yeah, was even, it's a little it even hidden existed. Gem. Yeah. So it's an opportunity for folks to see that space, this little sort of right. almost like campground in Stoughton that people don't know about, right? I know you go there and you feel like you're uh, in a cabin in New Hampshire somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really nice uh, hidden spot. So yep. we're hoping to showcase that, especially to the people of Stone. Yep. Like, we have this here, let's use it. You right, know? right. Um, and, and kind of showcase 
what they have to offer. And that's well. meant for to bring your family, and so it would be kids, adults, learning to, you know, bow and arrow and exactly you know, fishing and so even if you've never done those things before this right is it's something. open for beginners anybody mm -hmm. you don't have to have ever picked up a bow and arrow or a fishing rod um you can be a total i mean you can be a total beginner mm -hmm. you could be an expert um it's we'll be able to offer um all sorts of things we'll be doing some guided uh nature walks with mass mm -hmm. audubon um it should be a really really fun day for people. Awesome. So yeah. that'll be something to look forward to in the summer. Yes. Yep. Yes. And then any, are there any other new exciting programs that you guys have on deck that we haven't talked about yet? I'm trying to visualize. We're that. also offering a teen cooking class. Um, okay. So we've been taking over our regular cooking class um, that it, and they've been hugely successful. They've, mm -hmm. the last few have sold out mm -hmm. um, and we've got a wait list. So we're offering this teen program that's made just, again, just for the teens to yep. offer something just for them. Um, well, they'll be able to really prep, cook a full meal from start to finish. Mm -hmm. um, and then they can either they eat it there or take it home. Um, but that's been a really, um, I've been teaching the cooking classes yeah. myself and it's been a really, really fun time. Awesome. Um, so we're excited to get that going for do the Do you teenagers. know what they're gonna be prepping? Like We do. The first um, teen cooking class will be game day appetizers. Okay. So that'll be very fun. Yep. Um, the next one will be called, it's called Pie Oh My. So we'll be doing mm. um, some pies, probably mini pies. Yep. And then the next one is ta Taco Tuesday. So we're we'll oh. making tacos. Great. Yeah. Awesome. So that's going to be really great. And if you have a teenager in the house and you want them to contribute to exactly. cooking in the kitchen, like this could be a really good thing for parents too, right? I mean, but also even the program that you do with younger kids, let's talk about that one a little bit too. So the cooking classes that you're doing, um, you're giving younger kids some of those same skill sets. So tell me about that yeah, one. Yeah, absolutely. So it's called Culinary Creations, mm -hmm. um, and we're able to do it over at the COA and Youth Commission. And we're basically kind of giving kids skills to, you know, be able to do some of this kitchen prep on their own. Mm -hmm. Or to be able to say, hey, mom, dad, like, I want to come and help you in the kitchen tonight with dinner. Like, yep. this is what I learned how to do. I know that this is what a teaspoon is, mm -hmm. this is what I, you know, um, and it's been really great. We've received a lot of good feedback and the kids love it. Mm -hmm. um, being able to really get their hands into something, make it and get the finished product themselves. It's, yep. it's really rewarding. They, yeah. um, we've done, um, We've done flatbread pizzas. Mm -hmm. We did uh, chicken parm. Oh wow! I know. Was, yep. That one was an adventure. Uh. <laughs> um, what else have we done? Um, we've got a a rainbow cupcake class coming up, which should be Fun. exciting. Yeah. So we try to mix it up, whether it's uh, savory, sweet, um, and we offer them um, sometimes. Uh, in the evenings, sometimes on half days, we mm -hmm. try to kind of mix it up to be able to cater to as many kind of different people's schedules as we can. Yep, excellent. Yeah, great and great skill building for kids, exactly. right? And math, if you have a kid who <laughs> needs to be learning math, <laughs> then you know there's that opportunity of like, there's fractions and cooking, right? And there's some yeah. really great life skills and it's something that, um, I think not not a lot of kids are often exposed to anymore, and so that's great. You right, know, that's great. I think a lot of families are looking for that Definitely. for their kids. So Definitely. that's very cool. So let's talk about some of the other re stuff that we're looking forward to that's coming back this spring and summer. Yeah, so we have our skateboarding class with Knuckle Bones is coming mm -hmm. class. Um, I mean, coming back. That's yep. been really uh, oh, here's popular. A picture. Yep. Oh yeah, they're skateboarding. Um, yeah, they have a really good time. Knuckle Bones does a really great job, and they. Um, just really getting the fundamentals down mm -hmm. and making kids feel comfortable on the boards. Um, we're also doing the Mass Audubon lecture series again. Mm -hmm. um, so we offer that um, during the day uh, with Mass Audubon. Um, Sean Kent is like wonderful. He's so knowledgeable um, and he's able to show some of his, he's a photographer as well. So mm -hmm. he's able to show off some of his uh, nature photographs and awesome. it's really like it's an unbelievable experience for people to be able to, um, to get in there. And that's at the Stoughton Public Library. Um, Great. We are also doing our memorial uh, once a night, always a night, 5K mm -hmm. walk run. Yep. Um, as you can see, they're running there. It was really a wonderful uh, event that we were able to put on for the town and just really promoting like Stoughton pride and community and coming together um, to do something that benefits everybody. Mm -hmm. um, so we really were excited to get the, the 5K going. And it's when, is, when is that happening? Um, it's happening in May. Okay. Uh, May. 16th, okay, so mid-May. So, yes, mid-May. <laughs> mid um, look for the date. You can yep. find the date on our, it'll be in our brochure. So May, 16th. May 16th. Yep. Great. Um, it'll be in our brochure and on our website as Excellent. well. Excellent. 
Um, and we do a fun run for some of the younger guys too before the, f the full 5K kicks off. So if you've got a little guy who wants to, uh, to get out there and also if you have younger kids who don't want to run, we'll do a um, drop your kid and run. So we'll have oh, child great. care available too for people um, who have kids but still want to participate in the 5K. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to take care of them Which as is, well. Yeah, that's awesome and unusual, I think, for yeah. 5K. So I know you guys did that for the Halloween 5K and um, and, I, and you know, it's great for parents whose kids are too little to, to participate in the event, but you know, you want, you want them to be there, you want them to sort of have that experience. It's good for kids to see their parents doing something healthy, right? Exactly, you know, exactly. And, and, and it makes them supervised. want to be able to do it right. someday too, you right. know? Um, so it's, we're really excited to be able to offer that yep. for, um, for families and hopefully that helps open up the accessibility as right. well. That's huge, um, yep, Yeah. awesome. Um, uh, another thing that we're doing is, um, and this is actually a new thing, yep. um, we're doing a family Pawsox day. Mm -hmm. So what we'll be able to do is um, we'll, we get a bus, um, you'll be able to buy your tickets in advance, and um, there is, you can play catch on the field before Ooh. the game, um, which cool. is really great. So bring your glove, bring a ball. Yeah. Um, you'll be able to run the bases after the game, oh, nice. and it also includes um, a meal and a drink. Oh, great. So it's a whole, I think it's $25 for mm -hmm. the whole thing. Um, that includes the ticket, the bus, the lunch. Oh, wow. um, it's, it's really, really cool. We're excited to be able to offer it um, as this, you know, we're trying to do more of these awesome kind of ways to get together as a family, yep. especially on the weekends. That's fantastic. Um, great. Yeah. Um, I can't read that far away, but we're getting, <laughs> 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 we're trying to get a note <laughs> for another program we're supposed to be plugging. Um, oh, and we're also doing a family fishing clinic. That's what um, it was. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> yeah. um, so in addition to that outdoor adventure program, we'll be doing a family fishing clinic that's um, on a weeknight and it's just fishing. Awesome. Um, and you guys so did that last year, Yes, right? we did yeah. that last year. It's with Mass um, Fish and Game. Yep. And they bring all the, they bring the rods. They get us all set up. Yep. Um, Wildly successful last year. Yes, it's right. really, really fun. Yep. Um, again, another way for just families to be able to come together, as you can oh, see. There's a nice picture. They're yep. so, look at, you can just see the smiles on their faces. Yep. And that's um, over at Ames Pond. Yes, at Ames Pond. Right. Which yeah. we can, we'll talk we about talk in a few about minutes about the facilities, too. Yeah. So. Let's think, what other exciting things are coming back? We're gonna, we know there's open playground coming back, but we're gonna do a whole show just about yes, that. So a whole playground show. Right, so stay tuned for that <laughs> episode because we're not gonna talk about it today. Um, what, let's see, because your brochure was extensive. Um, yes, we're doing our, so we're doing our biggest program output to date. So wow. we're able, we've like, doubled the number of programs we're able to offer and that's I mean we're just going to keep growing and yep. it's nice to be able to get the so much support from people in town that really are are looking for us to keep growing mm -hmm. and being able to um, offer all these these wonderful yep. uh, programs. So what about so Kids Night Out? I know is a very successful yes. program that you guys that's been selling out. So you want to yes, talk a little bit about that? The next one is two weeks away and there's already a waiting list. It's wow. pretty amazing. Yep. Um, so what we do is usually around it's usually once a month we offer what we call Kids Night Out and it's from five to nine on mm -hmm. a Friday night and parents are able to drop their kids off, 10 bucks, they get pizza, they get to run around. Um, we usually do a movie. Uh, we've set up, last time we set up karaoke, mm -hmm. um, arts and crafts projects, Legos. Um, and it's, you know, it's nice that it's structured enough that there's multiple activities going mm -hmm. on, but kids can choose what they wanna do and when they wanna do it. Yep. Um, it fills up like this. Yep. It's a really awesome thing that we're able to do. And the other part about it is we're connecting with local businesses in town. Mm -hmm. So if you drop your kid off, you can pick up a coupon and say, head down the street to mm -hmm. get um, a bite to eat and it'll be 10% off your food order. Mm -hmm. um, so we're trying to uh, partner with more uh, local businesses to be able to you know, awesome. work together. Yep. Um, yep. It's a great, I mean, it's an incredible, for $10. For $10 for so four for hours. For your child to be fed and like yeah. entertained for four hours is pretty, like you can't, you can't you even can't get babysitting it. for an hour <laughs> for that. So don't tell anyone because it's. I know. Right. <laughs> it's, like the, it's a great, amazing thing that you guys, you could probably do it every Friday night. Absolutely, absolutely. So Some if you want to go sign up in happens. advance. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and sign up in advance. Um, so that's another great thing that's happening. Um, what about other programs for like little guys or seniors? Yeah, so we're offering, um, we just, it's actually starting this Friday. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Little Sports Stars. Yep. So we found that a lot of times um, 
like uh, people are either home on Fridays with their uh, toddler or someone in preschool. They might be, a lot of centers are closed on Fridays. Hmm. Um, so what we're doing is offering a, it's like a um, little sports stars. We focus on a different sport each week and cool. we kind of learn the basics. It's, you know, um, making sure we can hold the baseball bat the right way and mm -hmm. practice swinging at the ball. Yep. Um, we're doing soccer, football, kickball, um, and that's over at Teamworks in Canton. Okay, um, so that's inside. Yeah, so it's yep. indoors, but it's a good way to keep your little guy active, especially mm -hmm. in the wintertime. Um, yep. They'll be running around, um, and it should be really great. And mm -hmm. that's another program that we're able to staff through the rec department, which okay. is really nice yep. um, to be able to kind of offer some more of our own programs. And so what's the age bracket for that one? Um, that's three to, three to five. Okay, all right. So yeah. preschool so age yes. for kids. Yep. Yes, and yep. then we'll be doing our Tiny Tikes soccer program mm -hmm. again um, this spring. Yep. And that'll be on Sundays and that's another Tiny Tex is great. They're really great at, you know, teaching the basics of soccer while kind of involving some imaginative play. Mm -hmm. um, so it's getting kids playing but still learning the, yep. the basics of soccer yep. and they have uh, really great international coaches that come from all over the world. Oh, wow. um, who really know their stuff and they're great with kids. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really nice and that's um, outside, but okay. um, it'll be in the springtime. Yep. So it'll be warming, right. we're dreaming yep. of warmer weather. Right, we'll want, um, that's when we wanna be out. Yep. Yes. Yep. Um, and then I, one of the things I noticed, cause mm -hmm. I, this is something that I always enjoy is that you guys are offering paddle boarding too this year down at the pond again, yeah. right? So we, yeah. we did that last year. Yeah, so we offered paddle boarding. We'll be offering another paddle boarding um, day this summer at the pond. Um, it'll be, you can take a lesson mm -hmm. if you need a lesson, if you want to just rent the boards, you can do that if you're already comfortable. Um, so any skill level, you mm -hmm. know, you, you can have never even touched a paddle board before yep. and still get yep. out there. Um, and I think Ames Pond is like a real hidden gem mm. in Stoughton. It's so beautiful. Um, it's great for swimming and hanging out down there and yep. not as many people know about it. Here's um, a good so picture. Yep. The docks down there are great for kids to they jump off the docks, um, to be able to get some sun out there. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really, really wonderful resource, a yep. natural resource that the town has. Yep. Um, and so and what's beautiful about it is sandy bottom. It's the lake isn't too deep, so it's probably warm pretty early in the season yeah, too. You know, definitely. so if you fall off your paddleboard, or you're <laughs> you know, or you're swimming, you're, yeah, yeah, you're kind of you won't be frozen in one <laughs> minute in the lake. Yeah, uh, and we'll be offering swim lessons down there again too. So okay, great. Um, there'll be uh, you'll sign up based upon the level of your swimmer, and then also um, if you know if you have a kid who maybe needs more one-on-one -on -one instruction, we'll be offering s private swim lessons too. And those okay. you just have to call us to schedule them. Um, and we'd be happy to do it. Great. It's exciting, yeah. And so the for the pond, people need, if they want to take advantage of it a lot during the summer, you guys offer passes, right? So we want to yes. talk a little bit about the pass yes, program. Yes, so you can do, you can buy a beach pass um, at the beginning of the season through us and you just show that um, at the gate mm -hmm. when you walk into the pond. Or if you know, you're not maybe sure about how often you'll go to the pond, you can use a, you can just buy a day pass okay. um, at the gate. Okay. Um, and those kind of like prices and things like that are available uh, or will be available on our website once all our spring and summer stuff heads up there. Yep. Um, registration yep. will open on March 5th okay. uh, for spring and summer. Awesome. Yes. And let's talk about a couple of your other facilities. So we have three, three playgrounds? Yes. Right? Is that correct? Yes. Right. Um, and one of them is pretty new this year. So the playground behind the Wilkins that um, is adjacent to the West... Um, or now the John Dennison Athletic, Athletic Complex, right? It just came online and that playground is beautiful. I think we have a picture of that. That's the complex right there. Um, lots and lots of activity there all spring and summer, right? With different teams. Oh and yes, you'll find any like teams from all over the town out mm -hmm. there. Yep. Um, it gets really popular. It's a great resource to be able to have. It's, you got the, all the diamonds out there. Yep. You have the playground um, and the playground is just awesome yeah like i they you know the feedback from kids Here's that the, and people some in of the town structures, yeah, yeah some of the structures there i mean it's just awesome i think about a playground that i would want as a child and i mm -hmm. look at that playground I'm like oh, that's exactly right. it and that's only one of the elements there's right there's so much so it's so great if you have kids who are playing sports or out on the field 
um, and you have younger children who, you know, you can now sort of be able to do both things at the same time. You can take advantage of the playground. And yeah, and there's the different sports. areas for different age groups as well on the playground. Yep. So yep. it's appropriate for, a, you know, a wide range of kids or something for a kid of any age to really do yep. on there. And so, and then in the other parts of town, so we have that playground and then there's the playground on Pierce Street, mm -hmm. um, which was formerly, some people know that as the CAP. Um, which is part of Halloran Park and that complex. And that playground was renovated a couple of years ago. So also beautiful, brand new. Absolutely. And again, like on a, a resource that's really great, Halloran Park, to have that walking path yep. there is really great. You'll always find people out um, walking on the path. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's the only public basketball court in town, mm -hmm. um, if not one of very few. Yep. Um, and then we have that great playground there right. as well. Yep. Um, so it's definitely a really great, beautiful resource mm -hmm. for people to have in town. Yep. And what's nice about that walking path, I think, is that one, it's it's graded. Um, so people, you'll see people out there with, um, you know, who are walking, senior citizens, young people, people on bikes, people pushing strollers. Um, everything is accessible over there, which is really, really great. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and so it's sort of nice if you have older kids who, you know, or even younger kids and you want sort of a a kind of controlled environment for them to be riding their bike. You don't want them out on the street. That's a really safe place to go and they can kind of, they can do laps around. And, right. You know, I've seen kids with chalk and hopscotch and, um, we play pickleball out there too. Yeah. As well. So it's a super great, vibrant, um, amazing resource. And then we also have West Street, um, the Lessa Playground. Yes. On Another the other side hidden of town. gem. Yes. Um, that's tucked back, but the land over there is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's just gorgeous. Um, and there's the storybook trail yep. um, back behind that pl the Lessa Playground as well. Yep. Um, and all those hiking trails. In, yeah. yeah. So that is also a space that um, if people don't know about that, you should check out. So we're actually we're in our last minute. So we're gonna do we're gonna make sure people know how to find out about all the programs and register. So why don't you talk about your contact stuff and how people can find you guys? Yes. Yeah, so we're again we're located at 15 Pleasant Street in Stoughton, the old Randolph Savings Bank. I'm right in the center of town. Our website is uh, stoughtonrec.org, um, and if you can reach us at uh, recreation at stoughton-ma.gov. Um, and our phone numbers are there. Our Facebook is really active. We try to stay super on mm -hmm. top of um, our Facebook page, whether it's you know promoting new programs that maybe aren't in our brochure, yeah. um, posting photos from different programs. Um, so definitely follow us on Facebook. Um, that's the be one of the best uh, resources for kind of finding out information. And obviously our website, our Twitter as well. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming th Thanks to for talk about all the me. programs. So we had so much to talk about, which is why <laughs> we are saving Open Playground for its yes. for its own episode because we knew there would just be too much because yes. you guys are doing so many great things. So mm -hmm. thanks so much. Check out all of their um, info on the web, and um, we'll see you on the next episode.